Oh, this is weird. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Actually reminds me of a Little Britain sketch. That I did. <laughs> Please, could I have your names? I'm Paddy. Yeah, I'm Nico. And um, what is the nature of your relationship? It's, it's a professional one. And m might we ask you your age? I will be 80 this July. Do you think you can win this show? Oh, it would be very nice, but just as long as people enjoy what we're doing and we give people pleasure, that's the main thing. OK, well, best of luck. Apologize uh, for what I did because I did obviously buzz a little early. This is before all the crazy things happened, you know? It, it was all kind of like slow and normal, and then it all went ballistic. <laughs> it was extraordinary. You're an amazing example to older people because you've shown that however old you are, you can still be spectacular and beautiful and do something amazing. She can, all people can. If you want, you can. How did you get into dancing? I had been a dancer from the age of two and a half, like lots of little girls, and I gave it up to get married. I had four children. Then when did you pick up dancing again? I went to live in Spain with my husband, 
and unfortunately, after 18 months, he died. And for something to do, I went to Nico's Dance Academy to learn something totally different, and this is the result. My grandmother is 93 years old, and I just kept thinking of her when you were being thrown around that. <laughs> that man and um, I think she would have wanted me to press my buzzer for you as well so me and my nan are going to be right behind you and I hope you win Britain's Got Talent. <laughs> the fact that you did it for all those years and then and then had your lovely children then lost your husband you gave up so much. Well when I started to do this I spoke with the family and I said what do you think? And they said, well, you gave everything up to have us look after Dad, and he would be proud. Yes, he would. Paddy, you are my hero. Like, you are unbelievable. I pray to God that I am like you when I'm your age. I don't want to sound patronising, but we have to just say it as it is. That is something I've never seen before. I'm so pleased Amanda has pressed her button. And do you know what? We don't have to vote. And if you have a man.